The death of George Floyd at the hands of a white police officer has galvanized the world to take a stance against racism. The event has also set off a flurry of corporate statements in solidarity with black people in America, along with pledges of more than $1.7 billion to advance racial justice and equity. The unprecedented outpouring of corporate support, however, was met with scrutiny. Critics say companies' display of solidarity with the Black Lives Matter movement doesn't go beyond lip service as they fail to follow through on their pledges of diversity. Here are some of the companies touting the Black Lives Matter movement. Microsoft has been posting powerful quotes on Twitter from black employees describing how systemic racism takes a toll on their lives. But the company has come under fire for treating the BLM movement as a passing trend. A leaked email sent to mural artist Chantel Martin showed the company asked her to make a mural in honor of the BLM movement by June 7, while protests are still relevant. Harris Diamond, the chief executive officer of Microsoft's PR agency McCann, and chief marketing officer Chris Capicella later apologized for the insensitive language used. The company's 2019 diversity and inclusion report doesn't draw a positive picture either. According to the report, only 4.4% of Microsoft's global workforce across all brands, including retail and warehouse workers, identify as black, and less than 3% of its US executives, directors, and managers are black. Amazon is prominently displaying Black Lives Matter on its platforms, and its CEO, Jeff Bezos, has been posting on Instagram racist emails he's received from consumers who are unhappy with the company for taking a stance. But while 26.5% of Amazon employees identify as Black, disclosures show they are mostly hired for low-paying jobs, and it doesn't extend to senior management roles. According to a CNBC report, 44 of Amazon's 48 executives were white men in 2019. Amazon has faced years of criticism for selling a facial recognition service software called Recognition to police departments with a lack of oversight on how it's being used. A 2019 study from researchers in MIT Media Lab found that Amazon's 2018 version of Recognition made errors when identifying dark-skinned individuals because the system was trained by data sets that were overwhelmingly male and white. A dozen AI researchers wrote an open letter in 2019 saying that recognition was flawed and should not be at the disposal of law enforcement. After George Floyd's death and following ongoing criticism, the company has put a one-year pause on police use of its facial recognition software. But activists who have been campaigning for Amazon to halt the sale of the software for years question the ban as it's only limited to one year. Google executives have joined other tech corporations in expressing support for the Black Lives Matter movement. A recent update for Google Assistant Now has a custom answer to the question, do black lives matter? Black people deserve the same freedoms afforded to everyone in this country, and recognizing the injustice they face is the first step towards fixing it. But Google employment records show that the company has a weak representation of African Americans. Only 3.3% of the company's workforce is black. Eight current and former Google employees told NBC News last May that Google rolled back its diversity and inclusion training in an effort not to be seen as anti-conservative. According to NBC, the company also terminated a diversity training program called Sojourn in 2019. Five days after George Floyd's death, the American coffee giant expressed solidarity with black people in America in a tweet that called for confronting racism, followed by another tweet expressing Starbucks' commitment to the Black Lives Matter movement. But BuzzFeed obtained a memo that showed Starbucks expressing a different sentiment about the BLM movement. In the memo, workers were told that they were prohibited from wearing any clothing or accessories that support the Black Lives Matter movement, arguing that the agitators in the movement could amplify divisiveness. But after a social media backlash and calls to boycott the coffee chain, the the company released a statement saying that they will not only allow employees to wear BLM attire, but that they will also make 250,000 t-shirts to show their allyship and support for the movement. Many people reacted on social media, saying it's too little, too late. Starbucks really changed their policy regarding Black Lives Matter shirts and pins literally the same day they banned them. These companies are finding more ways every day to show us that their regard for black lives are afterthoughts and PR strategy. Would this be the case if you hadn't been publicly shamed? A 2019 report by Boston Consulting Group noted that only three of the 500 biggest US companies by revenue were led by African Americans. According to data from the Economic Policy Institute, in 2018, the average income for a white household in the US was $70,642, compared with $41,692 for African American families. 